Israel Defense Forces have accused Hamas terrorists of assaulting civilians and stealing humanitarian aid in Gaza. According to the IDF, Hamas prioritizes its terrorist objectives over the well-being of Gaza residents. Now, the statement from the IDF has highlighted instances where Hamas members allegedly beat civilians and misappropriated aid provided by international organizations with Israel facilitating these actions. Well, the IDF has asserted that Hamas uh, places its terrorist goals above the needs of the people of Gaza. Arzu Say joins us for more details on this story. Arzu, uh, uh, take us through uh, what are these uh, big claims being made by Israel? Uh, well, the war between Israel and Hamas is again escalating and now it's been two months and also uh, Israel Defense Forces on Saturday accused Hamas terrorists of beating civilians and stealing the humanitarian aid that Gaza received from international organization. Also, the idea has stated that Hamas Hello. put uh, its terrorist goal over the need of Gaza's residents. Uh, I did share a video on uh, Twitter from, uh, that showed people getting beaten by some individuals in the video. Some individuals also placed some uh, material in the vehicles uh, while sharing the video on X. The idea stated Hamas member beat uh, civilians and still the humanitarian aid they received from international organizations facilitated by Israel, Hamas put its terrorist goal over Gazan. So, uh, the, you know, the humanitarian yeah, that's, aid... There, there's obviously an error there. I just want to point out that's an error there. Israel can, of course, not be facilitating these actions. Uh, uh, obviously, this is uh, absolutely shocking what Hamas is doing and this is something that the IDF has, uh, of course, uh, uh, questioned and asserted. Uh, Group Captain V.N. Jha, defense expert, is also joining us. Uh, you know, Group Captain Jha, this is further justification, obviously, being given by the IDF why the war is carrying on uh, against Hamas. There are two sides of the coin. What is happening today in the uh, uh, Gaza is a complex situation. On one hand, the humanitarian aid is going there, and there is no denial that the Palestine, uh, whether under the directions of someone else, have looted the humanitarian uh, aids being uh, provided there. Yesterday also we have seen that while the truck with the aid was moving towards the, uh, the, the store, it was being looted by the general population. And where are all these aids going? Today, as on today, as we understand, that in the southern part of Gaza, in those areas where the settlement is there, new settlement from the, with the Palestinians who have come from the north, it is just about 60,000, 70,000 people. And the amount of aid, the trucks that is carrying the aid there, humanitarian aid there, should be sufficient. But then where it is vanishing, then it is worth recalling IDF statement that whatever is reaching there, the major part of that is being uh, grabbed by Hamas. In under, underneath their tunnel for their own uses. And there is no denial that the civilian, normal civilians, the, the innocent civilians, they are left high and dry. So that's the reality of the situation. And on to this, the UN and the UN body who are, who are in charge of those humanitarian aids must ensure that those aids go to the innocent civilians for whom it is meant for. Right now, there is no denial that it is the major share of it is going to the Hamas under their tunnel and it is being used for, for their own uses. So this must be looked into that. And Uday, I must tell you one more thing. Today, when everyone is crying for the ceasefire, why not a single person is asking the same question of, uh, they are asking for the humanitarian aid, the same question that why that the Israeli civilians who have been taken hostage are not being released. No journalist there is asking, posing that question to the Hamas administration or the general civilians. And no one is ready to answer that. So obviously there is a shady uh, sort of approach of the civilians who are there in that portion of that part of the Gaza. And it is a very, very murky situation. Uh, it is undeniable that the civilians are dying, but why are they dying? Why are they sh uh, shielding the Hamas? Because every time they fire either the uh, rocket, yes. there is a signature. Infrared, uh, I'll just take another 30 seconds. There is an infrared signature onto the radar system, and that is why IDF used to uh, you know, uh, um, uh, fire from the air. Air raid should be there. So, obviously, when there is a shielding by the civilians, there will Indeed. be collateral damage. Indeed. Uh, Group Captain Jha, we've run out of time. I'm going to have to leave it at that. Thank you for joining us. Thank For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon.